guys welcome back to our channel today i am going to be doing my 30 week pregnancy update i cannot believe i'm already at 30 weeks this is insane to me um i am filming this later in the day it is currently 6 13 and this is what has to happen when you are a working mom you kind of have to shift around your schedule to a film um, especially when you are solo parenting for the night so I got the boys situated um, with dinner and then they showered and now they are watching Lilo and Stitch on the couch and I'm really really hoping that they will let me get this video filmed so um, like I said it is going to be my 30 week update video I am 30 weeks and three days now and like i said i just cannot believe how fast the time has flown by this point in my pregnancy with the boys little did i know that two weeks later was going to be when the boys were going to be born um if you guys are new to our channel um we have two and a half year old twin boys who were born at 32 weeks and three days um and so they were born super early and I never got to experience a full pregnancy. So at this point, I am so thankful that I've made it this far with no complications. Everything is going smoothly. And so I am really excited for that. So I actually kept track of all of my symptoms and everything um, in my notepad on my phone because it's been for the last five weeks. If you guys haven't checked out my 25 week pregnancy update, I did a kind of compilation of from the time I found out I was pregnant to 25 weeks, which seems like a lot, but it really, it really wasn't a whole lot. But I will have that linked in the description and somewhere in a card up here if you guys wanna check that out, as well as check out the pregnancy reveal video. That is one of my favorite videos just because we didn't get to do a pregnancy reveal with the boys because again, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing and I do have a video about uh, how we found out we were pregnant with the boys too. So I'll have all those linked down below if you guys are interested in any of those. But to get on with my 30 week pregnancy updates. So cravings this month, there have been a lot. I have been craving watermelon um i wanted watermelon so bad that i ordered it through a gro grocery pickup and i was just going to do the already pre-cut ones just because i wasn't going to be too picky about it but they were out of the pre-cut ones so we had to get this massive giant watermelon and corey was like looking at me like are we seriously going to eat that entire watermelon because he's not a huge watermelon fan but he'll eat it if he if it's around um, but I would be the only one to eat the watermelon. So he cut this giant watermelon and literally we had two Tupperware things full of it and it was gone probably within four days. So watermelon is a huge craving of mine, which I also saw on a Facebook post that watermelon during pregnancy is actually really good for, um, like pregnancy, third trimester, cramping, uh, muscle cramps, and then it also helps with a bunch of different things. If, I've, if I find that, I will link it or do like a little overlay um, over this part of the video. But watermelon was a big one. Flavored water, specifically blackberry lemonade flavored water. It has to be the great value brand, like the little flavor packets. I have been consuming those like crazy, which is good because I'm getting my water intake um, and it's tasting super good, but I have to have it cold and I have to have it with ice. And normally I will put two uh, 16 ounce water bottles into my giant, I got this huge 30 ounce um, water like cup tumbler so i've been filling that up and most of the time it's been with the blackberry lemonade flavored water um next one is the chicken mcnuggets and sweet and sour sauce from mcdonald's for a good solid like week and a half when i got off of work 
I would go to McDonald's and get McNuggets and sweet and sour sauce. It had to have the sweet and sour sauce. I would not just get the McNuggets. So for a good week and a half, I ate that and then that craving was pretty much gone. Um, Cocoa Pebbles cereal and cinnamon toast crunch. Um, I craved these so much originally. It wasn't just like a craving that it was like, oh my gosh, it was a random craving. Corey had asked me to get Cocoa Pebbles when I did our grocery order and he didn't know that I like liked Cocoa Pebbles too. So I had a bowl and then it was like that craving just kind of grew and then grew and grew and he couldn't figure out why all of the Cocoa Pebbles were going so fast. It's because I would eat like two bowls at a time. So Cocoa Pebbles was one. Cinnamon Toast Crunch was another. Again, I ate so much cereal and the best thing about being an adult is that you can eat cereal at any time of the day and with Corey working at night, I, you know, don't really cook myself a big meal at night. So cereal was half of the time that what I ate. So Cinnamon Toast Crunch was what I was going for. Um, Starbucks banana nut bread. Now I, if you guys have been following this channel for a while, you know, I'm slowly in a Duncan or I slowly turned into a Duncan girl when we lived in Cali and I was a star die hard Starbucks fan for the longest time. And I still go every once in a while, but when we lived in Cali and the on base there was a Dunkin there that was the only place we would go so um, I stopped drinking a whole lot of Starbucks for a while but being pregnant I go and I get my drink from Starbucks which is a um, iced white chocolate mocha with three pumps of raspberry and no whipped cream but I also would get this uh, banana nut bread and if they ask you if you want it warmed up no I never ate mine warmed up it was straight like fresh banana nut bread which was so good um, and then the last thing is a McDonald's sweet tea um, again for a solid week along with the McNuggets and the sweet and sour sauce I would get a sweet tea and for a while there it was in the mornings before work that I would get a sweet tea and I really wasn't craving anything else drink wise um, in the morning it was strictly the um, sweet tea so yum so that's pretty much all for my cravings. Um, we had KFC the other night because I was craving it, but that was like a one-time craving. It wasn't like a complete for the last five weeks type of thing. Um, and then the other thing, what was the other thing? I just had had a random one and then once I ate it. Oh, um, hash browns from McDonald's. It's kind of been an on and off thing for me. I feel like when I'm pregnant, McDonald's is very prominent and in my cravings because I feel like I craved a lot of stuff from McDonald's with the boys too. So yeah, so but hash browns was kind of an on and off thing for me the last um, five weeks of my cravings. So again, that's enough with the cravings. Next is symptoms. My hips and my back are starting to really become uncomfortable and I think it's just because he's trying to figure out where he wants to be. Um, and so, especially my right hip, because like I stated in my 25 week update, he favors my right side. Um, and so he's kind of nuzzled his way into a comfortable spot on my right side. And so it makes my right hip and my right side of my back hurt really bad. So hip and back pain, I'm peeing a lot like I go all the time and I can definitely tell when I have to go because he will kind of bunch up and I get like this weird feeling in my stomach when I have to go to the bathroom so it's kind of annoying at work especially because I work in a preschool and so a lot of times you don't just get a random time to go to the bathroom especially if you are the only teacher in the class you can't leave your class by themselves so I kind of had to ask other teachers like I really have to go to the bathroom can somebody please cover my class and then it was fine but I <laughs> I have to go so often now and Corey makes fun of me because for the longest time I did really really good with not having to go to the bathroom and now because he's getting bigger I have to go all the time so frequent urination and then 
in the last like month and a half or so i have been so emotional uh my hormones are so out of whack right now that i cry over the littlest things i get angry at the littlest things and i get annoyed with the littlest things and i feel bad because a lot of times the boys want to be like lovey duffy and you know snuggle with me and i get so annoyed because i just don't want to be touched um and so that's been kind of the thing where i just get really emotional really randomly throughout the day and a lot of times it's like corey will look at me and be like why are you upset again and i'm like i don't know like i have no idea why i'm upset at all so hip and back pain frequent urination very emotional those have been like the three main symptoms that i've felt um side note my skin has been looking so good um i feel like for a good probably two or three weeks i went with really bad skin my skin would break out i had breakouts on my chin my skin was really oily um and now i feel like number one because i've been doing really good with my skincare and number two because i've been drinking a lot more water my skin just looks really really good so that's another thing i've been loving with this pregnancy is that my skin's been looking real good too and then that's all for symptoms um just some kind of random things uh he still favors my right side which is what i said he moves a lot and the movement from this pregnancy compared to my pregnancy with the twins is so different because at this point in my pregnancy with the twins it was very hard to feel movement like it was very subtle movements it would be like a kick here or you know a nudge here but he moves ollie moves so much this pregnancy and it'll be like at random parts of the day too there's not like a specific time that he's really active it'll just be random and he moves for like a good 20 25 minutes non-stop i've gotten a lot of clips of him moving whereas with the boys it was very hard to get him to get them to move on camera what's up baby here you want to come sit with me you want to say hi say hi Hi. Can you take this out? Say hi. Hi. Are you excited to be a big brother? <laughs> you gonna be a big brother? Who's in mommy's belly? Oliver. Oliver. Koopy, you wanna come sit up here? <laughs> oh, hold on. Mommy's gonna hold on. Hold on. Sawyer, you're gonna sit on this side. You wanna finish out with mommy? You wanna sit up here and finish out with mommy? Cause mommy's almost done. You stinky. Oh, you want your binky? Oh, is that what you want? Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have two little guests in here for the last little bit. Um, well, that's Bobo. That's Bobo. Oh, you want to switch? Here, we'll switch. We'll switch. Here, you get the blue one. Bobo wants that one. Oh, my goodness. We're switching. Okay, so um, he moves a lot. I've been sleeping well, but I need to sleep on the couch now versus... Um, in the bed, I just cannot find a comfortable spot. And if I do sleep in the bed, I have to sleep with a body pillow between my legs. Um, I just can't get comfortable then. So I have the time to sleep on the couch. Where are you going? Are we done now? Are we, okay. <laughs> I guess you'll just have two little nuggets in the back. Or they'll get down one of the two. Um, I'm un unable to do a labor and delivery tour because of COVID-19. So I had to do it online and I had to ask like the director questions. Don't mind them. This is hashtag twin mom life. Hashtag adding another child into our family life. But um, I was unable to do it in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to do it online. Um, my what? <laughs> my blood pressure is perfect. Every time I've gone, it, there hasn't been an indication that it's been high or anything. Um, I passed my glucose test, um, and my blood work came back perfect. No protein, nothing in my urine. Um, and I have my 32-week anatomy scan scheduled for, uh, actually, 
626, which if you guys know, that is Corey and I's anniversary. So June 26th is our 32 week anatomy scan, which unfortunately, what? A hug. We'll go on the couch. Go finish watching Lilo and Stitch. Oh, mommy, you'll come out there and sit with you in a second, okay? Okay, really. But, um, Corey can't come to my 32 week anatomy scan. <laughs> Hi, baby. Um, due to the whole COVID thing, so, which stinks because, again, he won't be able to see, but I'm hoping to get some on <laughs> camera. And so, yeah, so that is really the end of this week's or the this update. Um, I did get a request from somebody to share a couple of embarrassing like symptoms or stories um, And so what? Well, come here. Come sit with me. So one of them is that When I was like it was probably when I was first found out I was pregnant um, first few weeks of pregnancy Corey and I were watching Toy Story 4 and spoiler alert, I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, at the end when Buzz and Woody kind of part ways, I I got really emotional and Corey looks over at me and goes, I know it's sad, right? And I said, the boys are gonna leave each other. And I was like bawling, like having an absolute meltdown. What? I know, you're getting tired. Um, but they were having like an, I was having an absolute meltdown over the fact that my boys were eventually not going to be next to each other all the time like they are now. Um, and especially because if you guys are new, Buzz and Woody was kind of their theme for a while. Um, it still kind of is, but not too, too prominent lately. Um, cause we kind of just let them choose their own thing now, but <laughs> But um, so yeah, that was a funny story. Embarrassing would be that when I sneeze now, I uh, pee a little bit, I tinkle a little bit, which I never had before. I mean, I did when I when I was pregnant with the boys. I did one time, but it seems like every time I have to sneeze now, I have to cross my legs because I am gonna pee myself. So, and I actually have a couple times. Afro. What? Afro. Elsa, you wanna watch Elsa? Yeah. Okay, we can watch Elsa. You wanna watch Frozen in a little bit? Let mommy finish and then we can watch Elsa. Okay? Say okay, mommy. Is that mommy's hair? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, let me finish. And then other than that, there really hasn't been anything that's been like super embarrassing, just that and oh the story of the forgotten biscuits in the pantry um i was pregnant with the boys and it we had done groceries and i was gonna do crock pot chicken and dumplings which you need uh pillsbury biscuits like the two ones <laughs> you are being so goofy and I forgot to put them in the fridge and left them in the pantry. And Corey and I are sitting on the couch one night and we heard a big pop and we couldn't figure out what it was. So we just kind of let it go. And then Corey went to get something out of the pantry and there were the exploded can of biscuits in the pantry. So. Where's daddy? Yes. And where's daddy at? Um. Is he working? No. Is he working? No. Yeah, I think he is. It's a book now. Oh, really? Okay. But yeah, so that was kind of the embarrassing slash funny slash I don't even know what uh, little stories from pregnancy. Really haven't had any this time around, but yeah. So that is my 30 week update. I will insert uh, another side by side between uh, 30 weeks with the boys pregnancy, which I think I have one. We'll have to see. And I definitely am looking, looking large and in charge, but definitely not as big as I was uh, with the boys at this point. So if you guys, hey, can you say, if you guys like this video, can you give it a thumbs up? Can you say, say, ready? Say thumbs up. Say give it a thumbs up. <laughs> And make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel. And 
I will be doing another update video at 35 weeks. So stay tuned for that and make sure to check out all of our other videos before you leave. And we'll see you in our next video. Say bye guys. Bye guys. Say bye guys. Bye bye. <laughs> see ya.